School science technician. It's not all glamour, she says wearing a velvet dress. After yesterday's microbiology video, I thought I would show you the results of the practical. They're pretty grim. And it, you're very lucky that this isn't smell-o-vision because, my God. So I will hold them like this so you can't see the names. Can you see them? No. Hmm. Why would you might be able to see the names? One second. I will quickly do something about that. That does not work. I will just um, deface them. I'm about to murder them all, so it's all right. There's some really good ones. That's a good one. Dum 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 dum. Names have been changed to protect the innocent. Oh god, they look so disgusting. They are now anonymized. So here we have a lovely tray full of microbes. Let me show you some of them and look at this one. It looks a bit like uh, lovely Christmas snowflakes. This one, which is yellow. Mmm. Maybe I'll put some behind them. That's better. No, that's worse. Lovely microbes. Just so disgusting. This one, this is like fluffy clouds. I mean, they're all pretty revolting. I don't know what they swabbed for, to do these. Usually we ask them to swab the environment, like door handles, calculated spoons, that sort of thing. They're not supposed to swab body parts because then we might incubate some dangerous um, bugs and we don't want to, you know, create super bugs in the prep room. Not least because I mostly live here. Anyway, so now what do we do with these once we've got these disgusting smelling things? Well, first of all, we wait for them to grow. So basically we incubate them for a couple of days so stuff grows and then we turn the incubator off so this stuff doesn't get out of hand. Anyway, we've just shown the kids, they've all gone. Ugh. And now I'm going to murder them all. Not the children, the plates. 